guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Penny. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2022 Lexus GX 460, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so I am in this one today because there is a huge tech upgrade for the 2022 Lexus GX 460. New trim level as well well excellent reliability if you guys actually open up a consumer reports magazine you will see that the gx did get a well above average reliability rating which by the way is the very highest reliability rating that consumer reports gives out so that pretty much says it all right there and there is also a new paint color for the gx as well and so i'll be getting to that when we get to the exterior portion of this review but in this video i will of course be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 gx to start the gx 460 will have an msrp of fifty five thousand four hundred and twenty five dollars then there's going to be a premium trim level going for fifty six thousand seven hundred and sixty luxury for sixty four thousand nine hundred and thirty five dollars and then the black line special edition going for fifty nine thousand two hundred and sixty dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the gx is going to be the same powering this beast is a 4.6 liter naturally aspirated v8 putting out 301 horsepower at 5500 rpm 329 pound feet of torque coming in at 3500 rpm power sent to all four wheels through lexus's full-time four-wheel drive system with a torsen limited slip center differential as well for a little off-roading capability that is pretty cool in a luxury vehicle but power sent to the ground through a six-speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.2 seconds which is plenty respectable for the size of this beast and we'll be testing that out of course in a little bit here but top speed 110 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 15 in the city 19 on the highway with a driving range of 460 miles that's actually very impressive impressive for the size of an SUV but anyways before we do that acceleration I'm coming up to a turning circle here and let's do a quick little uh, turning radius check here I just want to see how good that is because you never know when you're going to need a good turning radius and actually that's doing quite well for the size of this vehicle sometimes it'll make that but that one was perfectly fine so that passes the test there and now I haven't gotten that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's just put this thing to the test here first when it comes to that acceleration Let's see if this really does feel like 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds. All right, you guys, I think we found our straightaway here and from a standstill, three, two, one. Not bad. Instant. There's so many cars that are turbocharged these days and I don't get that kind of instant reaction when I hit the gas. You get it here with the GX. This thing can move pretty darn well for the size of what it is. Definitely not gonna have any issues merging onto the highway. But again, the best part for me Having test driven so many turbocharged engines lately is uh, I always expect a little bit of delay now, but you're not gonna get that with a naturally aspirated V8. This thing instantly puts the power to the ground, instant acceleration when you hit the gas, which I definitely appreciate. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.3 inch ventilated front disc. In the back, 12.3 inch ventilated rear disc. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it actually comes in at 133 feet. So since we're coming up to a tree right here, let's go ahead and hit the brakes. It's 100% on the softer side, which I I'm not a big fan of to be quite honest, but wouldn't have minded if Lexus firmed up that braking feel a little bit. I know with SUVs, you don't always need that, but it is a little bit too soft, even for an SUV. And that 133 feet number, it's a little bit on the higher side as well. A lot of times with larger SUVs, you'll get the upper 120s. Although I will say I've seen as bad as 139 feet, so it's not as bad as that, but wouldn't have minded a bit firmer of a braking feel is what I'm trying to get at here in the GX 460. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent double 
double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, four link rear suspension, gas pressurized shock absorbers, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as the ride quality goes, it's actually perfectly fine. Even without like an adaptive suspension or an air suspension or anything fancy like that, it rides perfectly fine in my personal opinion. I definitely would have no issues taking this thing on a long road trip to Ocean City, Maryland or anything like that. Kind of missing the beach right now, now that things are getting colder here in Pennsylvania. But anyways, ride quality is perfectly fine. As far as steering sensitivity goes, that's one of my favorite things. And the very first thing I noticed when I first started up this thing, it leans on the heavier side. You guys know I absolutely love the heavy steering feel because it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. It gives you better driver feedback. A lot of SUVs give you a loosey-goosey steering feel and it's kind of numb and it's unenjoyable to drive. But the steering feel, I feel like Lexus kills it with steering sensitivity, especially the IS350, but they nail it 100% on point every single time with their steering sensitivity lately. So well done Lexus, I'll give you that. I often compare other vehicles to Lexus vehicles when it comes to steering sensitivity because it's that good. But anyways, touching on cabin noise right now, I'm going 45 miles per hour. You guys can probably tell there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin. So that is certainly on point and touching on visibility, Obviously, you can tell from the shape of this thing, you're not gonna have any issues with visibility. It's one of the best visibilities I've driven probably all year, to be quite honest. There is an absolute Sasquatch of a rear window back there. I don't know if that's even a saying, but massive rear window, you're not gonna have any issues with visibility. And rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on every single trim level of the GX as well, but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Lexus GX460. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Lexus GX460, finished in Starfire Pearl. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name that we have here today, let me first start actually with what's new on the exterior of the GX460. For example, that black line special edition is a new trim level that is going to add black exterior trim, unique 18 inch alloy wheels, black interior headliner, and black leather at upholstery as well. And then there is the Nori green paint available for the GX for the first time. It's been available on other Lexus models before, but never on the GX460. So that's probably the one I would choose just because it's brand new for the GX. I think that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front of this one here. Of course, you have that large Lexus spindle front grille, as you guys are probably used to at this point. Definitely looks good in my opinion. To the sides, premium triple beam LED headlights do come standard on every single trim level across the board. I love that because those triple beam headlights are a lot of times optional on some of the other Lexus models right now. So I love that they come standard on the GX460 because they do add quite a bit of extra illumination at night, comparatively speaking to the other headlights that they used to have, I guess you could say. Automatic feature, of course, does come standard along with that automatic high beams as well. Another feature I love essentially means when you put that on, it's going to dim the high beams to low beams if it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction and then throw it back to high beams for you automatically when that vehicle is gone so it's definitely a convenient feature there led daytime running lights also coming standard led fog lights down below if you were to go with the premium trim level and up and i did want to mention although we just have the base kind of gx 460 here today we do have a premium plus package that adds a ton of different things including captain's chairs on the inside which we'll get to in a little bit here but one of those things being the fog lights and then you have an added front lip towards the bottom you guys could probably see that as well but overall definitely makes for a very nice looking front end to the gx460 but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one but so then starting up top of the gx here roof rails do come standard for every single trim level across the board Rear privacy glass also coming standard for all trims. Black window surrounds coming standard for all trim levels, but you do have a little bit of chrome belt line molding. You guys can see that towards the bottom there. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors, of course. They will be heated as well with LED integrated turn signals, again, for all trim levels across the board. Illuminated running boards coming standard for all trims at the bottom there. I love that they're illuminated too. Can, of course, see it in the daytime, but it's going to look pretty darn good at night. As far as the wheel configuration goes, 18 inch split six. Six spoke alloys coming with the base and the premium, 18 inch black unique alloys coming with the black line, and then 19 inch six spoke alloys with the machine finish coming with the luxury trim level. But again, 
looks pretty darn good. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of this one. So but now since we are around back of the GX, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, of course, does come standard. Rear window wiper as well. And actually, let me show you guys something real quick. Rear window wiper is not asphyxiated to the glass. It is tucked away up underneath. I don't know if I, you guys can see. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. Cool. Anyways, your rear glass actually also does open up for you. So I'm just going to pop that right there. And hey, we're inside the vehicle. Isn't that pretty cool? Anyways, the way I did that, there's actually a button right here. You just press that, then you can lift up on this. So I love that feature. That's pretty darn cool. But now zooming back out, LED taillights do come standard for all trim levels across the board as well. And to the bottom right-hand corner there, you will find a single exhaust outlet with a chrome or dark finish dependent upon which configuration that you go with. But I do love that look because so many SUVs right now are tucking it away underneath and I hate that look. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, you guys, so now since we are around to the back, as far as cargo space goes, by the way, the GX does have three rows of seating, believe it or not, for all trim levels. So as far as cargo space goes, when you have that third row up, behind that, it's going to come in at 11.6 cubic feet. If you were to fold that third row down, that bumps it up to 46.7 cubic feet behind the second row. And with all rows folded, that is going to come in at 64.7 cubic feet. And of course, in that cargo area, you will find some cargo lighting. There are grocery bag hooks. There are tie down anchors then as well. There is a cargo cover for the luxury trim level. And then it's going to be optional with some of the other package options for the other trims. Like we actually have it today, which is pretty darn cool. And if you're wondering whether or not the GX had a fix a flat or a spare tire, it does have a spare tire. The spare tire itself is located up underneath of the GX. And then the tools to actually change a tire is located on the inside of that rear tailgate, I guess you could say. So there's a couple little knobs on the back side of it that say open. You just turn it to the side. That's where you're going to find that. And then there's another one as well, which is much bigger, which I guess is for hidden storage, perhaps. I really don't know what that other one is for, but there's a little bit of storage within that. Maybe somebody can put it in the comment section if you know what it's for, but I definitely like it. I like that it's there. It's a little added storage, I guess you could say. But then making our way to that third row legroom, that is going to come in at 29.3 inches, which is pretty darn small maybe small children could fit back there but even that would be a stretch i would say but i will say there is rear ventilation coming standard for all three rows that is going to be located up top on the ceiling of this thing so that is definitely a plus there and you do have some cup holders back there as well but then Making our way to the second row legroom, that is going to come in at 34.1 inches. For reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders if you go with the bench seating, but there's an optional package though available where you can get captain's chairs like we have today. And again, that's the premium plus with sport package, I think it's called. It goes for approximately $5,800, but we do have it. And it does give us that captain's chairs configuration that we have here, so that's pretty darn cool. Heated second row seats come with the premium trim level it up and again part of our package today So the rear passengers are a little bit spoiled back there There is tri-zone climate control as well and we do have that so the rear passengers can actually set their own temperatures as well Wouldn't have minded seeing some rear window sunshades though I feel like that might have been one thing that was left out But overall rear seats are plenty comfortable without a doubt and I do like the captain's chairs configuration That we have in this one today, but now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats 10-way Power adjustable front seats for all trim levels memory settings all trim levels as well you gotta love that new luxe seating does come standard heated and ventilated front seats come with the premium trim level and up and again optional otherwise and we do again have that option so that's pretty darn cool and by the way those heated and ventilated seats buttons it's going to be like this little rolly thingy located just in front of the shifter on both sides that's where you're going to actually find that but overall Seats are pretty darn comfortable. Not as comfortable as Lexus's F Sport seats, which by the way are the most comfortable seats in the world. I'll swear to it after driving 600 different vehicles. These aren't bad. F Sport seats are better. Wouldn't have minded if Lexus threw in some F Sport seats just for fun in this thing. But anyways, 
Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and leather wood combination if you were to go with the luxury or optional on some of the other configurations like we have today. Heated steering wheel also available for the luxury and optional on some other configurations. So overall, when it comes to that steering wheel, I love the wood and leather combination. I always have when Lexus does it. They always do that, right? It is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. And so once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer all the way to your right, digital speedometer front and center to control what is on that digital speedometer. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel there. It gives you a ton of different information, trip A, trip B, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. Apparently we have 386 right now on basically a full tank. So maybe that's good to know as well. There is a digital speedometer that you can display up there if you wanted to. There's also your tire pressure information for each individual tire, but also the spare tire as well i don't think i've ever seen a vehicle out there that have given tire pressure for a spare tire that's wonderful lexus well done i've never seen that that's pretty cool anyways safety information the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want up on the digital portion of those gauges there but then making our way to overall interior quality power moonroof does come standard for all trim levels across the board there is an overhead sunglass holder with the school bus mirror i always like that spying the rear passengers a little bit there Home lane controls for up to three different garage doors found at the bottom side of the rear view mirror there. Dual zone climate control is going to come standard, but three zone climate control or tri zone climate control comes with the premium trim level and up, optional otherwise. Illuminated door sills coming with the luxury and the black line. Ashwood trim coming with the black line and optional otherwise yet again. I do not see a wireless phone charger, however, so that's a little bit peculiar. I would have expected to see that in here somewhere, but overall interior quality is 100% on point. It's a Lexus. Lexus always does it right. I like this wood trim found on the doors just above the passenger side glove box as well. And just below that, you actually have some nice soft touch leather with some contrast stitching. That also looks very good as well. And even these door handles, they're designed to kind of look like samurai swords. I'm sure that was the uh, intention seeing as this car is 100% made in Japan. So definitely looks good there as well. Just in front of the shifter, you have a little bit of storage, two USB charging ports, auxiliary port, 12 volt power outlet as well. Just behind the shifter, you do have dual cup holders and within the center armrest, there is a tray up top, but ton absolute mammoth ton of storage within that center armrest so that's pretty cool too but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen because like i said this is where the big change comes in for the 2022 gx there is a brand new 10.3 inch color touch screen display so a much larger much more high def screen is now coming standard for every single trim level across the board you gotta love that and it's touch screen like i said but there is still that touchpad controller located just to the right of the shifter as well so either way is perfectly fine bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard up there android auto apple carplay also coming standard factory navigation system also coming standard across the board you can find some driving statistics up there there's some climate control information you can find up there and of course your radio information as well and so here's the fun part for me at least nine speakers are going to come standard for all trim levels across the board but it is fun today because we actually have the optional 17 speaker Mark Levinson sound system. So essentially it's gonna be optional on all trim levels. For the premium and the luxury, it's available as a standalone option for $1,145. But for this base that we have today, it's going to be part of that premium plus package that goes for the 5,800 that I was mentioning to you guys. Bunch of stuff comes with that, but it is a 17 speaker sound system with 330 watts. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Actually, that was dang good. I mean, I was listening to the bass before that song. I just wanted to put that clip on there because I like that. That was kind of weird and weird song. But anyways, clarity was 100% on point. Plenty of loudness, but the clarity, again, 17 speakers, that's where this thing really shines. That clarity was 100% on point but anyways last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is of course when you do put this thing in reverse you will find a rear view camera not unfortunately taking up the entire screen but there is a couple different views a little fisher wide angle view on the bottom left hand corner of that screen which is pretty cool and you can adjust that if you want to but 
as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. That's all extremely boring at this point, but also coming standard pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, dynamic radar cruise control, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, and intuitive parking assist as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the GX460, well above average reliability, you are not gonna beat this thing when it comes to reliability. So, and it's even better because it's a luxury vehicle with reliability, you don't always get that. So that's pretty darn good off-road capable as well which again you're not going to find that in luxury vehicles an off-road capable luxury vehicle which is kind of cool if you're into that standard safety is great on this thing great masculine design in my personal opinion maybe not everyone feels that way but i do like the design of it as far as room for improvement goes the rear seats are a little bit snug maybe not the second row but 100 percent the third row it's basically unusable i would think in my opinion not too great on the fuel economy of course but that of course is what you're going to get with a naturally aspirated v8 Digital gauges, I think it's about time Lexus threw them on here as well. Full digital gauge cluster that's customizable. So the driver can tailor the colors and the display to however they want the display to look. Ambient lighting also would be pretty cool in the rear window sunshades. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the GX460 in the comment section below. If you're free to follow me on social media, the bottom of the screen there, if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.